Should a Nashville medical college accept millions of dollars from the tobacco industry? Meharry is set to receive more than $7 million from Juul Labs. The company is the largest maker of electronic cigarettes. Investigative reporter Ben Hall says that's exactly what Meharry will be researching. Ben. Well, Meharry insists their research will be independent, but others worry the corporation will cherry pick results and say this raises red flags. This decision was made after a lot of soul searching. Meharry's president and CEO, Dr. James Hildreth, said he was initially opposed to accepting a seven and a half million dollar grant from Juul Labs, which makes electronic cigarettes and vaping devices. I, like others, gave some serious thought to whether or not this would be the right thing to do. Meharry will use the grant to launch a new center and to research the impact of tobacco and nicotine delivery products like e-cigarettes and vaping. Hildreth insists even though the grant comes from Juul, the research is independent. Why would a company give a grant if what you're finding is bad for what it's selling? And I think that's a risk that Juul was willing to take. It raises suspicions right away. Uh, the tobacco industry has a long history of this, uh, of funding research and cherry picking the results of that research. Chris Bostic, who is policy director for Action on Smoking and Health, questions how the research can really be independent. If you want to get future funding, you kind of got to please the person that's funding you. I hope this does not become a trend. Uh, we've spent a lot of time and effort to get universities to, uh, to stay away from the tobacco industry. In December, the makers of Marlboro and Philip Morris became part owners of Juul Labs. Dr. Hildreth said in a letter to fellow Meharians, the tobacco industry has targeted unscrupulously minorities in the past. He says the grant allows Meharry to take the lead in researching this new area of public health. Whatever we find, the world is going to know. Whether that's that vaping is the worst thing ever, or that vaping is really effective in causing people to be able to stop smoking. Jewel Labs claims its goal is to help smokers stop smoking. But the Tennessee Department of Health warns vaping and e-cigarettes are dangerous and used by growing numbers of young people. There is nicotine involved. There are other harmful chemicals that are involved, and we um, at the Department of Health certainly want people to be aware of that. We will, for the first time, be driving a conversation, not the subject of it, or at the trailing end of whatever policy is made. Dr. Hildreth believes it's the right thing for Meharry to be doing, but others worry the college is being used by a corporation with an agenda. I'm all about e-cigarette research, just it shouldn't be funded by, by Juul. Now this is a five-year grant. Meharry says research will begin in the fall and is currently looking for a scientist to oversee programs at the center. Ben, thank you.